generally grayish in color and covered in many spiny crests all up and down their back, the marine iguanas have developed into very good swimmers. With flattened tails, they swim by moving their bodies side to side. Staying mostly in the shallow waters where it's not too cold, the marine iguanas can survive dives up to half an hour long. After feeding on nearby algae and seaweed, they climb back ashore where it's safer. Long, sharp claws help them cling to rocks when rough waves come along. Not a great day for surfing. I think I'll head back to the shore. Because marine iguanas take in such a large amount of seawater while they're feeding, they have developed salt glands, which help remove the salt and deposit it in the nostrils. With a frequent sneezing action, the iguana shoots the salt into the air, and then the salt falls back down on its head, making a little white wig. Hey, that little snake is not part of a symbiotic relationship. Get out of here or I'll sneeze salt on you. Most of the time, marine iguanas are lying around on the black lava rocks, warming up from the chilly Galapagos waters. They love to cuddle up together to conserve body heat. But when the sun starts to set, they head into burrows dug in the ground, where they can conserve body heat until the sun comes up again. They also use these dugouts to lay eggs and nests. Whew, all that digging is a lot of work. <laughs>